Hi, this is PDF Berserk Arcade at BerserkArcade.com and this is tutorial 232. So where we left off in the last tutorial, we had actually fixed uh, our chest now that when we actually open up to loot, uh, when we're getting armor, uh, shields specifically in this case, uh, when we have them in our inventory and we try to click them, uh, they're not being equipped and we're not getting an air anymore. So let's go ahead and actually start getting it to instantiate in in our little game world here. Now it may not necessarily show up in the right spot but what we're really trying to do is actually just get it showing up. So let's stop that and let's head back over to our code and I'll open that up and well let's start off with the my GUI script. Now we look right here is where we have it separated and it checks to see you know what what type of item this is. Uh, if we look at what we're doing for weapon we can do pretty much the exact same thing for armor uh, really the only difference we're going to have to do is check, uh, well, basically uh, the function that we're calling. If we make another one called uh, Equip Shield, it should work pretty much the exact same way. So let's go into our PC script. And where it says uh, Equip Weapon, I'm going to go ahead and just copy that. And I'm going to go down and paste it. And I'm going to rename it Equip Shield. And we'll just go through and take a look here. We're going to be changing the weapon slot. It's no longer main hand. I believe we called it offhand. Yes, offhand. So I'm just going to cut and paste that in. So we'll come through. Here's the main hand. Switch to offhand. And right here we're looking at the weapon mount. We're going to have to switch that over to our shield mount or offhand mount or whatever we named it. If we have have it in in our character at all yet. I don't think I've actually added it yet, but I, I've shown you how to make uh, different mounts. So let's just keep going through and we'll look for this um, main hand and we'll make sure we're replacing it. I just don't like spaces in my arrays. <laughs> uh, I'll keep going through again. We'll have to change this path. Uh, but that's not what we're working on right now. This is what we're working on right now is switching to the offhand. And that seems to be it. So I'm going to save that off. Uh, the next thing I want to do is actually take a look at our melee weapon mount. So I'm going to come into game settings too. And right here is where we have the mesh. So here's my shield mesh path. So I'm going to come back into PC. And we have melee weapon mesh path. And I'm switching that over to shield mesh path. And I'll just keep going through. I'm actually going to leave it at the weapon mount right now because what I'm trying to do is just get something show up uh, in game. I don't really care where it shows up. I, I can always move that around and adjust it. Uh, I just want it to show up. So let's go ahead. We'll see if we have any errors. Not showing up. Uh, I'm actually going to just click off of something so that's clear. And I just like to rotate my view so I start off looking at the chess. <laughs> I'm going to open this up and we'll go ahead and grab some items. I'm going to open up my character panel and my inventory panel and I'm going to click on a shield. And well, nothing happened. And that's because if we go back into our my GUI script, we're not doing anything. So let's go ahead and cut and paste all this code and I'm just going to replace the code that's in there. Now I'd like to point something out here. I'm going to put a space here. Now if you notice uh, we're checking for the type and uh, then we're just basically swapping things out according to uh, the slot it needs to be swapped on. And we're doing the exact same thing here. Uh, only real difference is, is the function that we're going to be calling and what the type of item we're actually checking for. Now I'm probably going to do one more before I actually come through and refactor this and uh, maybe I'll do hats or something like that uh, but I really want you to pay, start paying attention now on uh, being able to write code that you can reuse over and over again and I don't mean in the sense of uh, cutting and pasting like I just did uh, that's kind of like the first step to something much broader. Uh, you want to start looking at how can you condense 
uh, all this code maybe into one function and be able to uh, just call that one function and pass it a certain parameter or something like that and not have to uh, change any code at all. So we'll say if something happens, I have to change code up here. That means I'm going to have to come down here, change it here, and then every other where, every other place I have it. So just keep that in mind and start working out how exactly you're going to do this. I am going to do it in a later tutorial. I'm not exactly sure when, uh, but I, basically I just want you to start thinking about it and try to try, basically try to work it out yourself. So let's come back into the armor one here. And we're no longer saying equip weapon. We're saying equip shield, I believe I called it. I'm just going to take a quick peek, make sure. Uh, helps if I'm in the right class. And I did call it equip shield. And it's just returning an item. Now obviously I could have it return uh, armor or something like that. But shield is just the base class. So we're going to stick with that for now. And I'm just going to come through. And just change everything that needs to be changed. Basically equip weapons to equip shield. And I don't want to do the big search and replace because it might uh, replace the ones I don't want to replace. And I think that's it. So let's go back into Unity. There's no error, so I'm just going to clear my console, start it back up, grab this middle chest again, and grab all my shields. Uh, open up my character and inventory panels. And let's try this one. So there we go. It did equip. Now it did not show up in the little spot here. And that's because it's actually going to a different uh, equipment slot, which we don't have up yet. And I probably won't be adding it till uh, we sit down and start using UI toolkit because I really don't want to spend any more time playing with the GUI since I know we are going to be making drastic changes to it. Uh, but that should be coming up in the next week or so. Anyway, it is showing up. Let's try switching again. All right, there we go. And again, of course, it's on the wrong hand. It's on the wrong spot, everything else, but that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and actually make a weapon mount on my character. And I just want to take a look see what mesh I'm using. I am using the muscular mesh, it seems. Yes, I am. Uh, I'm going to have to add it to both. So I might as well just do both while I'm here. So I'm going to come into resources, shrink down items, open up character. I uh, have them under models, human, male. All right, so here's my muscular one. I'll just start off here. And I know it's under base. I'm actually going to have to instantiate a character. That's fine. I'll just drop them in. So we'll just drive down to where I want it. I know it's on his left hand. So we'll go left arm, left forearm, left hand, uh, mount four. So I'm actually going to call this offhand. Mount. I'll take that character. I'm going to shrink him back down. Hit apply. So it, it gets saved down here. Uh, if you could drill down through it again. But what I want to do is go ahead and expose my offhand over here on the PC script. So I'm going to open that up. Actually, I believe we have that exposed. It might be base character. Let me just come up and look. Yeah. So I'll just find that script. Right here. And sure enough, here it is. So we have weapon mount. I'm going to just cut and paste, put another one in. And I'm going to call it, well, I really should call it main hand mount and off hand mount. Uh, I, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to call this one off hand mount. I just kind of keep the naming conventions. I could have also called the shield mount. But I know eventually I probably will want dual wielding, so that's kind of why I'm leaning towards. But I don't want to play around with the changing the mount name right now. So we got that. I'm going to go back into Unity. If I update my character, who uh, I don't have a game anymore, he now has an offhand mount. So let's go reinstantiate him. Uh, he's right here, actually. I do have him in game. So I'm going to come down to my offhand mount and just drag it over to my offhand mount position. Hit apply. 
double check it by clicking on my muscular character over here and making sure that there's something there. Great. I'll get rid of my muscular guy. Uh, I'm going to do my fat guy while I'm here. And I'll just drop him on. And same thing. Open up the base. It's spine, spine up. That's on my left arm. Uh, left forearm, left hand, mount. And I called it offhand mount. And of course, the actual name of the game object itself it doesn't matter with the way we're doing it. Uh, just the variable does. Anyway, I'll drag that in, of course. Make sure you have the parent part clicked. And we'll hit apply and do a quick double check, make sure there's something there. And we'll close it. And I'm going to come back into the script. I'm going to go to uh, PC. And I want to come down to the new function we made, the equip shield. And if we look through here, the weapon mount, we no longer want to put it on the weapon mount. We want our offhand mount. There we go. And I'm just going to take this offhand mount variable and just go through and paste over the weapon mounts. And this should put it in the right spot. Scroll over. We have to switch with the transform and the transform rotation. And that should be good to go. And again, I want to point out if we notice these two functions, uh, they're pretty similar. The only thing we're really doing different is, well, for the get, uh, we're returning a different slot. And for the set, we're actually just instantiating uh, an item which does have a different path, but we're instantiating it to a different mount. So again, these two functions are very, very similar. And we should be able to create one function that uh, will accept a few parameters and do the exact same thing. Uh, and again, a little bit more of a fast forward ahead. I will really want to condense down to a two function. One that's going to uh, change a particular material on our character and one that's actually going to add and subtract game objects. Uh, if this all really sounds alien to you, don't worry, we are going to cover it. I'm just not exactly sure when, <laughs> depending how the vote goes. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to save this. We'll head back into Unity and we'll fire it up and take a look. So let's grab a chess. I'm just going to grab the first one here now. And we'll just go ahead, grab all these items. I'll open up my inventory panel, my character panel. And let's start off, we'll equip the round one. So there we go, we got the ground one, round one in place. And if we look, it is actually in the right spot. Great. Uh, let's go ahead and try to get the purple one. And if we take a look, there we go, the purple one's in the right spot as well. And we notice that the round one came back. Uh, so let's put the round one back and we'll just move it. The round one should show up there. Again, round one equipped. Uh, let's put the round one in the pack here. So uh, that's pretty much it. We've got a shield instantiating on our character now. And like I said, I do want to do one more uh, just to kind of drive home uh, the repetitiveness of what we're doing. And uh, the next, I think the only other game object that I have for armor to equip to our character is our hat. Uh, so we'll start with that. There are going to be a few differences now because uh, it's also deriving from the armor class. So that's something we're going to have to look at there. But uh, we'll save all that for the next tutorial. Anyway, thanks for watching. And don't forget to thumbs up the video and favorite if it's one of your favorites. And subscribe if you haven't. <laughs> thanks a lot. Bye-bye.